Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this is a review on the Marvel Legends new series by Hasbro, Series 1. And this is a review on Claw. Uh, first, we'll look at the packaging. And the reason I started the review on this figure is because it's the first figure in the new series that I saw in the store. And that I grabbed. So, uh, I thought it would be a fitting start to have this figure. You can see it, nice card art here. It's a classic Fantastic Four villain. You can see the, the packaging style. And before I open up this review, you can see he has the left leg of Tyrax here. His gimmick is that his whole body is sound, and he really focuses it on his right arm, his weapon there. Nice card art here. And it says, Marvel's Claw. What madness drives this genius who turned his own body into living sound? And you can see the other figures. Includes Tales of Terax, part four of six. And this is a review on Claw, part of the Return of Marvel Legends by Hasbro. 6 inch scale action figure and a great action figure of this Fantastic Four villain. Uh, before we get to the figure, just want to show you what it included. It included this. It's something new called Tales of Terax 4 of 6. It's just a little sheet and it tells you how to put the figure together of Terax, who is a builder figure, and it just gives a little detail about the comic book history of the character. So, uh, something new. I think it's a replacement for the comic book because they don't have that and you just want it to add a little something. So that's my guess. And it has the left leg of Tyrax, which is right here. This part is what Claw uh, has. And this guy will have his own review uh, soon. So other than those elements, this figure uh, is all you get in the package. And it's quite a great figure. First thing to notice is the face sculpt. Look at it. Uh, in the comic books, he's always had a weird uh, face. It's pretty hard to describe in terms of style. But this is how he does look in the comic books. His whole body is composed of living sound and uh, he's been chopped up in the comics and uh, always is able to put himself back together. His main uh, gimmick weapon is his right hand is this sonic uh, claw-like weapon and he's able to form uh, solid objects temporarily made of sound and he could uh, form it into barriers or weapons or animals, things like that. That's his uh, main gimmick. Uh, he was created by Stan Lee and uh, artist Jack Kirby in the original Fantastic Four run. Uh, even though he looks plain, uh, this is how he looked in the comic books. You see, the, the head is a little uh, fancy design-wise. One thing I like is if you look at the mouth and you look at the eyes, the eyes are actually painted silver with a black shading on it. It's not white and that use of silver makes it shine a little more and makes it really cool. Uh, this area, uh, the pants area here, this is actually painted on. You think it could be sculpted but no, it's painted on. Uh, that's okay. And uh, this area right here, one thing I noticed here is there's no real shading on the character, such as dark shading uh, in terms of the body mold. And even though there's no shading on him, uh, it actually fits because the comic book character is pretty clean like this. You don't see uses of shading really on the character. It's pretty much what you see all red, just like this. So it is... Uh, interpret it better if they kept it plain like this. Uh, 
Uh, the weapon here, you cannot remove it, so it's just uh, stays like that. And there's no articulation here. No articulation there. Uh, I'll get to that in a, in a minute. Design-wise, this claw, sonic gun, or whatever it is, it does look good. Weapon does stand out. And if you analyze the arm length, you could see this is longer here, and uh, it extends. That's his weapon, that's his uh, gimmick. Let's get to the articulation. Side to side, good. Uh, has some up and down. So you can get some good poses that way. Shoulder ball jointed, up and down, in and out. Has the upper bicep cuts right there. Has a double elbow, same here. Left hand, the hand could spin 360 and the wrist does go in and out. Uh, no articulation on the hand, it's kind of like an open uh, palm style look to it. Right, right arm, you, there's no articulation here and no articulation here anywhere. But really an articulation point wouldn't serve this area because what would you do, just spin it around? I mean, it wouldn't change or anything. Uh, waist area, upper body, it's a nice ab crunch and the waist does turn side to side. The hips ball jointed, so you do get the side to side, up and down. Has the upper thigh cuts right there. Has the double knees. No boot articulation here, but the feet do go 360 and up and down. Uh, no side to side. When I was at the convention last year, they did say in the future Marvel Legends, I'm not sure which wave, uh, but they are going to put back the side-to-side -side, uh, articulation point. So they are aware of that, and uh, that just makes it pose a little easier if you could turn it side-to-side. -side. But they are going to add that in the future. Uh, Articulation-wise, this is pretty much uh, standard articulation from the, the old days. It's almost all here. Uh, really good figure, Fantastic Four villain, and uh, even though he's a basic character in look, this is how he looks in the comics. The only other thing that could have been added would have been nice if maybe they could have put like some beam effects, or if they could have put like some animals or uh, creatures he makes in the comic books, sort of like uh, accessories, things like that. But people could always add that, and his accessories, usually when he forms these weapons, it's usually the same color as his body, so it's like red. So it's like red beams or red uh, creatures and things like that. So that's the review. Claw, part of the new Return of Marvel Legends by Hasbro. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. That's right. The name is Claw, Master of Sound. If I'm the Master of Sound, does that imply that I'm also the Master of Music?